All right, so front yard landscaping is super important. If you want your house to pop and retain its value, and if you're going to sell, the front yard gotta look good. So how do we get the front yard looking good for a nice price? In this video, I'm gonna show you some examples that are small, large, medium, different price points that are going to help you with whatever style house you have, whatever kind of front yard you have, and whatever style you like with your front yard landscape. We're gonna get right into it. If we haven't met, my name is Bobby Kay. I'm a professional landscape designer and installer. I was out in the field for a long time. I now design full time and I like to give out my tips and tricks to help you with your yard. So if you're new to this, welcome. If you're back, thanks for coming. And I wanna get into the meat and potatoes of why front yard landscaping is so gosh darn important when it comes to you, your house, your happiness, when you pull into the driveway, all that stuff. Here we go. Picture number one. Here is what I want you to focus on. This is a very beautiful front section of a yard. And this can be applied to anything in front of your house. What I want you to look at is the mixture of the grasses, and then they've got something smaller, either some ground cover or some perennials, but look at the different heights and textures and color going on here. The truth is this right here probably doesn't cost over $150 to install if you're gonna do it yourself. You've got a couple bucks with the grasses and then the ground cover, but that's about it. So this is a way to make a section of your yard pop. I'm gonna go rapid fire here. Number two. This is a dry creek coming out of a downspout. Downspout, make sure you bury it. You don't dump the water in the dry creek. One thing that could have done a little bit better with this dry creek is maybe put in some skipper stone or some boulders to make it look a little bit more natural and not so manufactured, but it's kind of a cool look. It provides some interest. Number three is very similar to the first picture that we talked about where you've got lots of color variety and a natively flowy feel. This is something beautiful that anybody can do. It takes a little bit of time for this stuff to grow, but if you can group different plants of color and texture together, you're going to have something really pretty to look at. When you drive up that front drive and you see something like that, you're going to have a good day. <laughs> good day? You're going to have a good night because you probably are coming home from work, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Picture number four. I love this one because it's a very contemporary house as you can see, but the landscaping, this is universal. This could go almost anywhere. What I love is how they've separated the mulch from the lawn very cleanly, and they mixed in some boulders to act as a retaining wall for that burned landscape. They got a couple different pops of color. They got the one focal point. I believe that's a lilac bush right there, but it's just smooth, beautiful. You got the walkway inviting you over to that space and it says you know what come on in here to my sofa let's watch some tv let's watch the game and have a beer and a party maybe it doesn't say all that but that's what i see picture number five this one's super easy it's just a nice way to create a, a walkway that's not with pavers if you don't have the money for pavers and you want to do stepping stones you can do a nice gravel around it and what i want you to look at as a pro installer tip is put those pavers or those stepping stones a little bit above the gravel because if you put it flush with the gravel, the gravel is going to get on top of them and you're gonna end up sweeping them or kicking rocks and it's gonna be a little messy. If you put them up just a little bit, a human foot is probably not gonna drag that gravel all over the place, which nobody wants. Next picture is how you can spruce up a decorative rock bed with planters. Beautiful planters. Get something like this agave and then you got some sedum around it. You make three of them, threes, fives, odd numbers, always good. And just put something beautiful together and it doesn't block the window. That's the trick to this one. Don't block your windows. Unless you want something that's got a canopy above and you can still see through. Make sure that you are always thinking about line of sight from inside your house. You wanna see stuff, but you don't want it to block. Unless you've got some neighbors that you hate. Then you might wanna block them out. And we're not talking about this design, this example. Yeah. Next one is a retaining wall. How do you landscape behind the retaining wall? If you've got a really good looking retaining wall like this wall, this wall is beautiful. Maybe you don't want to hide it and you just want to have little pops of color that can be perennials or some grasses or they can be bushes. But what you want to do is make sure you put enough separation in between them 
which will save you money because the more plants you buy, the more expensive it is. And then you can see in between and see that beautiful wall. It's a little planting tip. Final picture is if you're going to install a walkway, it's always cool to flare it out. It just really invites you up to the front door. The reason this picture is so gosh darn awesome is it's simplicity in the landscaping and it's got this beautiful flared out walkway. When you're driving up the driveway and you get out of your car and you're going up a walkway like this, you're feeling good about your house. You're feeling like home is, home is what? You're feeling good about your house? You are feeling good about your house. I feel good about this. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Home is where the heart is. Yeah, that. To get more ideas like this, go check out this video because with every single video, I'm gonna give out more and more content like this that's gonna save you time, it's gonna save you money, and it's gonna give you little designer details that you can do yourself or if you want to put some stuff together and hire a designer, now you got some ammunition on, here's the stuff I like, here's the stuff I don't like. This is Bobby K saying, a yard without a plan is just a wish. I'll see you on the next video.